is Second Lieutenant Malolai Baduri of Afghanistan. The Obama administration has put advancing the status of women and girls right at the center of America's foreign policy. One of our awardees is in hiding. One is in prison. Another is locked under house arrest. And we present a fourth award posthumously for a brave woman whose life was brazenly stolen by brutal violence. Their cause is our cause. Women's issues, as we know, are more than just women's issues. They're families' issues, their economic issues, their security issues, their justice issues. For courageous and dedicated service to drug law enforcement and training in Afghanistan, as a first sergeant in the counter-narcotics police of Afghanistan's National Interdiction Unit, we name Malalai Bahaduri a woman of courage. for bringing light to light the murders and human rights abuses carried out by the Assad regime, for continuing to raise awareness of the crisis among international community, and for supporting a free and democratic government for the greater good of the country, regardless of the threats to her own person, Razan Zaituna is a woman of courage. <laughs> for bold and courageous investigative reporting, and for defending human rights in Russia and neighboring countries, we recognize Yelena Milashina as a woman of courage. <laughs> Nirbaye's fight survives her for inspiring people to work together to end violence against women in India and around the world by displaying immense courage in demanding justice. As this inscription reads, and with great sadness, we honor Nibaye, a woman of exceptional courage, and we honor her posthumously. So please stand and join me, if you would, in a moment of silence for Nibaye.